All right, just kidding, here we go. Hi, I'm Lauren Kennedy and welcome to episode 72 of Art This Week. This week we visit Valley House Gallery and speak with Hadar Sobel about her exhibition, Kairos, The Supreme Moment. Now for Art This Week. Welcome to Art This Week. I'm Caroline and I'm speaking with Hadar Sobel at Valley House Gallery in conjunction with her exhibition, Kairos. Uh, first of all, it's so nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you uh, so sorry that we're catching the end of your exhibition, but we really felt it was so important to get an opportunity to speak with you. Thank um, you. You were born and raised in Israel. So how did you come to be in Dallas and uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, um, as, I, as you said, I was uh, raised in, in Israel, in Kibbutz and Harun. Um, I graduated as a textile designer uh, from Shankar College in Israel in 1997. I was um, lucky uh, to get a job immediately after graduation. Uh, as a costume designer, I worked with a, a leading costume designer in Israel, Rakefet Levy, and um, to work with Rakefet is the best experience that you can get. And so through her, I worked with a top uh, playwriter and director Hanoch Levine, and uh, with. Uh, um, worldwide recognized choreographer of Adna Arin and the Cheva Dance Company. And you came to Dallas and you, uh, you, did you decide you wanted to try and work in costume design? What made you decide that you wanted to work in more of an artistic format? Um, first of all, I didn't have work lessons. Ah, there <laughs> and I came with a uh, baby. Uh, so it took me some time to get used to the place and for my daughter to grow up a little. Uh, after a pretty long break of any artistic um, practice. Uh, practice, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll help you when I can. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. It's necessary. Um, I um, felt that it's time to uh, come back to business in a way mm -hmm. and I started to draw um, and that's developed you with the other things that I'm doing today. Well this exhibition, um, the work, it's called Kairos, but it comes from a larger installation of work that you've been creating called Go and I was just curious how this fits into that like is it part of the middle? Is it part of the beginning or the end? Um, and also then if you could tell us a little bit about what, what the word kairos means in significance to the exhibition. Yeah, um, as you said, the work in the exhibition is part of a larger unit of work that I created in the last four years for, the, for an installation called Go. Mm -hmm. Go in the meaning of um, choice uh, to leave, uh, not to be afraid, uh, like to go for it. Mm -hmm. um, we decided to separate uh, the installation from this show in the gallery and uh, actually the selection of the work that you've seen in here, it's the uh, very beginning of the process mm -hmm. and the very recent work that I made. Um, when I needed to uh, find another title for this exhibition in the gallery, I uh, came across um, this uh, ancient Greek word, kairos, um, that it's a word for time. Uh, time in the meaning of the right timing or the spiritual time or a quality of time that's um, associated with uh, the energy and the intention of the heart rather than the mind. Mm -hmm. uh, embroidery itself is a very um, slow process and very controlled and uh, very um, uh, in very small motions and um, 
it's like to act like a good woman mm -hmm. and what I wanted to achieve is to have the all wide range of variety uh, of emotion that they can express from that and then when I started to use the backside as a subconscious of mm -hmm. the image and to um, use uh, um, a digital embroidery, embroidery machine, I could... Ooh, that was a question. I want to know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it was part of the process of uh, trying to find a way to um, express myself in much more um, spontaneous and um, expressive way. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I have to... Um, to get more rhythm into my work, to get more density of the stitches, something mm -hmm. that, that look like it's it's raised the energy, mm -hmm. and um, so I use this um, uh, technique of uh, digitizing embroidery machine. Um, so, do you tell it what to embroider? Or yeah. How does that work? <laughs> yeah, you can. Um, you can give the, uh, the image, the materials that you want, size, uh, color, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, get it into the computer. The, and the computer um, um, have a software that's translated into um, stitches. Stitches commands. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, I tried to stretch this uh, commercial, actually, device to a more artistic device, which wasn't so easy, but. Basically, that's the uh, idea of it. Um, the, what it gave me, it's, um, um, it's uh, free me from having uh, something very precious that I embroidered by hand for hours to um, a product that I can experiment with and I can impro uh, improvise and uh, mm -hmm. um, have much more freedom to play with, that's mm -hmm. one. And the other thing that uh, I could um, get uh, I much uh, bigger, you mm -hmm. know, the size limitation is uh, not relevant anymore because it can go faster. Yeah. <laughs> We want to thank Hadar Sobel for speaking with us about her exhibition. The exhibition just closed, but you can see images of her work at the Valley House Gallery website, valleyhouse.com. We will also have links to reviews of the exhibition in our show notes. We also want to thank Valley House Gallery, especially Laura, for letting us film inside. That's it for Art This Week, and thanks for watching. Just kidding. Take two. This week we visit Get... Ah! Hadar Sobel. Yeah. <laughs>